Thanks for joining us. Today, the automobile industry is at an inflection point. We have moved away from our traditional business of making, selling, and servicing cars, and are now on a journey to provide the smart mobility solutions of the future. Hyundai's guiding North Star on this journey is to be an industry leader in these solutions by 2025, and we are well on our way. Our business is moving beyond conventional transportation into smart mobility options for ride sharing and hailing, for first and last mile travel, as well as new options for vehicle ownership and rental. At the same time, we and the rest of the industry are moving away from fossil fuels as a power source to an era of more environmentally friendly, economical mobility through electrification. We're investing heavily in the development of hybrid and plug-in hybrid powertrains, battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell stack. And we're also pursuing safer, more convenient mobility through vehicle automation and advanced driver assist systems. Our R&D efforts to realize our future vision fall into two broad categories, eco and mobile technology. By helping the world solve some of its most pressing environmental and transportation problems, we move further towards Hyundai's ambitious mission of progress for humanity. Progress in these areas will help us become a company people value because of what we contribute to their lives. With our goal of being a leading tech-enabled eco-company, we're investing in four different areas known by the acronym MECCA. The M in MECCA stands for mobility and it entails everything from car sharing to personal mobility devices. The E is for electrification. That's the power behind all of these mobility solutions. Electrification makes these solutions practical and financially feasible. The C stands for connectivity, the essential linking of one car to other cars on the roadway and to the transportation infrastructure as a whole. It's the glue that binds Mecca together. And A is for autonomous. Driverless cars are destined to usher in a new era of public safety, convenience on demand transportation, and personalized mobility. And they're already a reality in commercial transportation and a number of cities. Our eco strategy will roll out in three phases. The first phase is now underway and we are improving existing technologies as we move towards new and evolving ones. We've already made great strides at dramatically improving the fuel efficiency and emissions of internal combustion engines with each successive powertrain and vehicle generation and we'll continue to do so. The second phase of our eco strategy begins with the process of electrification by applying hybrid and plug-in hybrid powertrains across our entire lineup. These systems are viable solutions to pure internal combustion, both in urban and rural settings where charging might be a challenge. The third phase of our strategy is full electrification with battery electric and fuel cell vehicles. We are investing in battery electric and fuel cell because we believe both play a role in the future. Neither is a one size fits all solution. And unlike hybrid and plug-in hybrid, those depend on dramatic improvements in the refueling infrastructure to succeed. Ultimately, our goal is to reach that planet friendly, zero emission ecosystem that we all hope to see and Hyundai is investing in and deploying the full range of powertrain technologies to get us there as quickly as possible. Eco-friendly vehicles offer a range of benefits based largely on their size. Hybrid and plug-in hybrid powertrains accommodate a variety of vehicle sizes, although their two-motor package makes them less suitable for the smallest cars. Battery electric is a better match for the smaller vehicles, because of its more compact power package and the lighter gross vehicle weight of smaller cars. Fuel cells today tend to benefit from larger vehicles like Hyundai's two hydrogen powered SUVs. And they're a good match for medium and heavy duty industrial uses. Um, think of large vehicles that carry heavy loads for long distances, situations where battery only power is at a clear disadvantage. On the other hand, Although battery electric vehicles work well and can be very cost effective for smaller cars, fuel cells may still be a better solution in some situations. 
Think of the dense urban areas in the Northeast where EV parking is at a premium. Charging might be non-existent and cold winters can sap battery capacity up to 30%. Well, fuel cells avoid all of those issues. We're excited about hydrogen fuel cells for many reasons. Hydrogen is the greenest, most abundant natural resource on the planet. And the hydrogen economy is growing to serve a wide range of needs. It is a greener alternative to the other resources used to get electricity into the grid. Coal, nuclear, natural gas. And it can be produced in an ecologically friendly manner using renewable energy for electrolysis rather than natural gas for steam reformation. And it has a long track record of use. For decades, nature's first element has played an important role in the industry. In ammonia and semiconductor production, food processing, metal refinement, and oil cracking. In fact, most plants that produce hydrogen for industrial use are located near refineries in the oil-rich states of Texas and Louisiana. Commercially, hydrogen use has grown in materials handling, where fuel cell forklifts are rapidly replacing battery electric forklifts in large distribution warehouses. Hydrogen fuel cell stacks are also used as stationary power backups for rural cell phone towers and data centers. And as renewables like solar and wind become larger parts of our nation's energy mix, fuel cell stacks are increasingly being relied on to generate electricity on demand during grid fluctuations and periods of peak use. Hyundai has been on an innovative journey to harness hydrogen's unique potential for mobility since 1998, when our R&D team first applied a fuel cell stack to a Santa Fe. By 2004, we had developed our first in-house fuel cell stack, and the entire fuel cell system by 2005. By 2013, we brought our first production fuel cell vehicle to market abroad, and a year later, we released it here in the US as the Tucson fuel cell. Our pioneering efforts were rewarded in 2015 when Wards recognized our hydrogen power plant as one of its 10 best engines in the United States market. And our R&D efforts have not stopped since. In 2018, we proudly introduced our most advanced fuel cell vehicle ever, the all-new Nexo, a crossover SUV with all the features and performance of a luxury car. And it stacks up well against the competition because there really is no comparison. Nexo is an SUV, not a sedan. So it's already unique in the micro segment of fuel cell vehicles. But if you compare other manufacturers' vehicle offerings in terms of range, the Nexo leads the class with 380 miles. And the limited trim, equipped with larger wheels, sunroof, and other high-end amenities, gets a competitive 356 miles. And thanks to its very efficient fuel cell stack, Nexo generates plenty of horsepower and produces a class-leading 291 pound-foot of torque. A quick comparison of our powertrains shows why we're so excited about fully electrified technologies, especially the hydrogen fuel cells. As you go from hybrid to plug-in hybrid, electric motor use increases relative to the combustion engine. That's good for the environment. Battery electric with no ice engine and zero emissions is even better. But hydrogen fuel cell goes a big step further. It actually cleans the atmosphere as it works by purifying intake air through the primary filter, humidifier, and the stack itself, reducing fine particulates and emitting only water through the tailpipe. We also wondered how consumers were going to consider these eco-friendly vehicles. A recent U.S. study showed that a third of consumers would seriously consider a hybrid model. A quarter of customers would choose a plug-in hybrid, and battery electric vehicles appeal to about one-fifth of all consumers. And about one-tenth of the population is favorably disposed to a hydrogen fuel cell car. These trends are expected to rise as consumers become more aware of these options and as more cars with these technologies start to enter the market. Hyundai intends to drive these numbers dramatically higher. Our Ionic EV platform Three models with three different powertrains has seen good market penetration. And we recently announced the expansion of our EV lineup with the next generation of Ionics, the Ionic 5, 6, and 7. Unlike the first generation, Ionic will now offer three different vehicle sizes, a sedan, 
a compact SUV, and a full-size luxury SUV. With the addition of these exciting new models, Hyundai will have a full-spectrum EV lineup of 10 different vehicles by the end of 2022. In keeping with our eco strategy, the lineup includes every EV powertrain solution available in the market today. And I'm proud to say Hyundai was the first manufacturer to be able to make that claim. We're able to move fast to implement our eco vision and offer such broad range of EVs because we forged partnerships with some of the world's biggest players in smart mobility. We formed an alliance to develop high performance EV prototypes with Remac, the East European supercar developer, We've invested in the British firm Arrival, known for its development of battery electric commercial vans. And we've entered into a joint venture with Aptiv, a global company focused on autonomous driving technology and systems for point-to-point -point mobility in challenging urban environments. Intelligent partnerships like these enable us to leapfrog solutions to realize our vision of a future shaped by eco and mobile technology. Coupled with Hyundai's own innovation and worldwide production capability, we're moving even closer to a smart mobility future. That future will embrace the entire spectrum of customer needs for short and long distance travel. It will not do so just with owned and leased cars, but by connecting people to public transportation, ride sharing and hailing, and a range of personal mobility solutions, including aeronautics, to get travelers to their ultimate destinations safely and conveniently. Who knows, in the not too distant future, we could see hubs where all these solutions come together to provide seamless mobility for the world's growing population. Now that would be progress for humanity. And Hyundai plans to be at the very heart of it. And we hope you will join us on that journey. Now I'd like to take a few moments to talk about a car getting a lot of buzz in the media, and rightfully so, the all new 2021 Elantra. Elantra is a good example of our broad approach to more eco-friendly vehicles. Internal combustion Elantras are powered by a new fuel efficient smart stream engine, and our all new hybrid model gets over 50 miles per gallon. In the compact car segment, Elantra has made Hyundai the industry's third largest player by market share. And in 2021, the compact segment is projected to grow to the fifth largest as new young buyers enter the market looking for affordable transportation. First introduced in 1990, the Elantra is a critical model in our US lineup and a key driver of Hyundai's success worldwide. The fifth generation Elantra introduced in 2012 was acclaimed North American Car of the Year and received multiple international awards. And Elantra has continued to win awards in the years since. The 2021 Elantra is the seventh and arguably the best generation of our award-winning compact. We've made many improvements to the Elantra to meet buyer needs over the years. And today we have a full spectrum of options. Buyers seeking value will find it in our SE, SEL, and limited trims. Eco-conscious buyers seeking high fuel efficiency can choose the all-new Elantra Hybrid. Drivers who want sporty styling and a fun-to-drive character will love the Elantra N-Line. And performance enthusiasts will find the ultimate thrill with our exceptional Elantra N. We did considerable research to learn what buyers want in the next generation Elantra, and we set our development targets accordingly. We targeted striking design, and boy, we've achieved that. We targeted advanced powertrains, including a new hybrid capable of up to 54 miles per gallon combined. And we targeted advanced technologies for class leading safety and driver convenience. Our all new Elantra hits the mark in each of these categories. Let's start the discussion off with striking design. And here to talk about that, we have Hyundai's senior designer, Davis Lee. Hello, I'm Davis Lee, senior designer at Hyundai Design North America. I help to create the exterior look of the new Elantra. Elantra represents our latest execution of a design theme we call sensuous, sportiness. Sensuous sportiness adds emotional value to the car through proportion, 
architecture, technology, and styling. Let me give you a quick walk around of the new Hyundai CN7 Elantra. Let's start with the side view. The first difference you notice from the previous generation Elantra is its coupe-like silhouette. We could achieve this with a new platform that enabled us to make the car look longer, lower, wider, and also with a longer wheelbase. The long hood and forward-leaning profile gives the car tension and define Elantra as a car with attitude. A bold edge runs from the front of the car to the rear and well-refined crystal shapes cascade throughout. We accented the parametric surfaces with three sharp lines that meet at one point. Now, this is taboo in car design, but in order to stand out of the highly competitive compact sedan market, we dared ourselves to break the rules. This was a difficult engineering task to implement, but we pulled it off with crisp and sharp lines. It can look out of place at first sight, but the more you see it, it gives the car a unique character. We also continued the parametric surfacing details on the 15, 16, 17, and 18 inch wheels, and also on the C-pillar garnish. These details add to the bold character of the new Elantra. On the front, have a look at the wide cascading grille. We integrated the lights into the grille for an even wider impression. This helps the forward-leaning gesture and gives the car a dynamic look. Now, if you look more closely, you can see we implemented the parametric patterns throughout the grille. These trapezoidal patterns travel all the way to the headlamps and harmoniously integrates into the DRL signature. So moving on to the rear, wide horizontal lines extend across the center of the trunk and the slim high-tech taillights form a flying H logo shape. The aggressive theme on the front continues on the trunk lid. This whole trunk lid is actually made from plastic, which allowed us the freedom to shape these aggressive designs. To enhance the fastback coupe look even further, we gave the rear glass a black deck accent. This piece visually connects the rear glass to the trunk giving it that fastback sedan look. The theme for the interior was immersive cocoon, and it is nicely executed by the structure coming from the door panel to the IP and to the console. Interface consists of two white displays connected under a single piece of glass, and the angled touchscreen is easy for the driver to see and control. We finished the driver-oriented layout with a high console and a unique passenger cornering grip. We gave the interior slim high-tech vents and customizable 64 color mood lighting to enhance the futuristic feeling of the car. Even with this fastback coupe roof line, the new Elantra is one of the top players in the segment in terms of roominess. You can really feel the streamlined and driver-oriented layout we gave to the car in the interior. Now, 2020, is the 30th anniversary of Elantra. And just like the first generation, the seventh generation Elantra has a bold character. We put all our heart and ambition into this car using digital driven design technology. And I can tell you with confidence, this car will be a game changer in the compact sedan market. Good morning, I'm uh, Jerome Grégeois. I'm a senior manager for Powertrain at the Hyundai America Technical Center. And I'd like to uh, describe to you the options of Powertrain that will be available with the new Elantra. So the first engine that is available is the SmartStream Powertrain 2.0 liter. Uh, it is uh, capable of 147 horsepower. And uh, we've developed a few features to improve the fuel economy, such as a block integrated EGR cooler, a variable displacement oil pump. Uh, and we also worked uh, down to the piston on the skirt coating and the location of the cooling jets. The engine is mated with uh, an IVT for intelligent variable transmission. What is special with our application at Hyundai is that the variator is a chain type. 
which is a benefit for fuel economy, especially when you're driving in overdrive uh, at the limits of the ratio of the transmission. We call it intelligent because of the shift control strategy that is available on this vehicle. The transmission will be shifting smoothly like a continuous variable transmission if you're driving normally and, and uh, easygoing along, uh, around town. But if you are in a need for more power, the transmission is capable of step gear behavior, very similar to an automatic transmission, and will give you that confidence if you need it for passing maneuvers. Then I'd like to introduce you to the architecture of hybrids for Hyundai. We call that architecture TMED. That stands for Transmission Mounted Electric Device. Most of the components in this architecture are located at the front of the vehicle, such as the engine, the motor, the transmission, and the starter generator. And in the back of the vehicle, underneath the rear seats, we have the high voltage battery that also includes the 12 volt battery. The engine is a 1.6 liter Kappa engine with gasoline direct injection. The engine delivers 104 horsepower and has an excellent thermal efficiency at 40%. This was made possible by features such as an Atkinson cycle, continuously variable valve timing, and a cooled EGR system. To make our hybrid powertrain efficient, we also made the choice of using a dry dual clutch transmission. DCTs have an architecture that is very similar to manual transmissions and therefore have great mechanical efficiency. In this case, 94.5. To further improve the efficiency, we also worked on the friction by implementing low friction bearings and low viscosity oil. Also, we worked on reducing the weight by implementing aluminum mounts to fix the, the transmission on the chassis. The transmission is capable of handling a torque of 200 pound-foot. The high voltage battery is a key component in the system, and in our application, it has a capacity of 1.32 kilowatt hour. The core functions of the battery is to provide electricity to the motor when you're in EV mode driving or to assist the engine when you're in hybrid mode. Also, the battery provides the power to start the engine on and off as you're going and transitioning from EV mode to HEV mode. The battery also has the function of storing energy that's coming either when you're coasting or when you're applying the brakes through regenerative braking. The motor is a 43 horsepower capable and has a great torque of 125 pound-foot. Its functions are to either drive in pure EV mode when the engine is shut or to assist the engine. Also, the motor will be used to generate electricity as you're coasting and feel an engine brake feeling or when applying the brakes. The last component is the starter generator. Its core function is to start the engine the first time in the morning, but also as you're going on and off from EV mode to HEV mode. Occasionally, if you need to charge the battery because its state of charge is rather low and you're driving slowly on the uphill, the HSG will idle and recharge the battery. Regarding the performance of the hybrid powertrain, we wanted the experience to be very similar to a conventional vehicle. And therefore, we changed the tuning in order to have a more dynamic response for the same amount of pedal compared to the previous generation of hybrid. The hybrid system overall has a horsepower rating at 139 and get an outstanding 54 miles to the gallon on the SEL trim level and a 50 mile per gallon on the limited trim level, which make it the best in class for fuel economy. Thank you for your attention. Good afternoon. I'm Manish Mehrotra, Director of Digital Planning and Connected Operations at Hyundai. And thank you for having me today. I'm going to talk about a couple exciting new features coming to the Hyundai Elantra, starting with the Hyundai Digital Key. Digital Key first debuted last year on the 2020 Sonata. It literally lets you leave a set of keys at home. And all you need is this. Using near-field communication, also known as NFC, Bluetooth Low Energy, also known as BLE, think the connection between your smartphone and smartwatch. The Digital Key securely connects to an Elantra to lock, unlock, and start the car. It's super easy to use. Simply tap the door handle, place the phone in the wireless charger, and you're good to go. And if you don't have internet access, you can still use digital key up to 15 times before connecting to the network or Wi-Fi. 
Let's talk about personalization. When your phone is recognized, the Elantra automatically adjusts your personal settings for things like the navigation, seats, and audio presets. The digital key is handy for other reasons too. It allows you to instantly and securely share keys with friends and family and revoke them when needed. Not only can you share temporary access with friends and family, but you can restrict the type of access as well. For instance, my young son, who is not old enough to drive, often leaves his soccer equipment in my trunk. Normally, especially while working from home, he would walk in my office, interrupting my work or Zoom meeting to get my car keys. With digital key, I can give him access only to Bluetooth functions, meaning he can only access the car, but not drive it. We think the next generation of car buyers who expect to use their phones for everything will find this feature very useful and necessary. Next up, let's talk about Hyundai Blue Link. Blue Link first launched on the 2011 Sonata, and we have made major progress and enhancements since. The 2020 Elantra introduces some highly requested features. The first enhancement is to remote start, our most used feature. In fact, this past January, customers used it more than 4 million times. Due to the popularity of this feature, in 2015, we enhanced it to include climate control, and now we are adding heated and ventilated seats. We also upgraded vehicle status to include windows, sunroof, and fuel level. Lastly, we are expanding our remote profile management feature to Elantra. When you use your Blue Link to start your car, it'll automatically load your personalized profile. So when you hop in your warmed up or cool down car, you also have your seat, navigation, and radio settings set up and ready to go. You can see how all these features are connected in our ecosystem. Blue Link also integrates with Android and Apple Watches, which enables voice commands. In addition to the smartwatch, Elantra owners can utilize both Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa to connect with their vehicles. For example, OK Google, tell Blue Link to start my Elantra and set the temperature to 72 degrees. Now let's head inside. Some of the most important devices in our lives are our screens, and Elantra is no exception. Elantra includes a segment-first 10.25-inch fully digital TFT LCD instrument cluster. It shows important information for your drive like fuel economy, advanced safety features, and more. Another feature is the large widescreen navigation system. This screen looks great using the split screen mode, allowing you to view two pieces of content at once, like navigation and music. It also allows full screen and split screen Apple CarPlay. Speaking of CarPlay, on a display audio head unit, we offer segment first wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. That way you can just leave your phone in your backpack, pocket or purse and connect instantly to your favorite apps. Another Elantra first is the introduction of Bose Premium Audio. The Elantra system includes eight speakers, including powerful Super 65 wide range speakers in the front doors and a woofer on the rear deck. The all new Elantra also has an enhanced natural language voice recognition system with more and better feature control, delivering unprecedented speed and accuracy in voice recognition and responses. It understands context, such as user location, to support natural interactions. For example, while driving, I can ask, did the LA Rams win last night? Here's a great commercial we recently released that shows this feature. What's the weather tomorrow? There will be mostly sunny skies with a high of 64. Send text to Jasmine. Be there in 10. Sending message. I need caffeine. Find me the closest coffee shop. 20 results found. And a date for tonight. <laughs> oh, you're good. Introducing class-exclusive dynamic voice recognition in the all-new Hyundai Elantra. A better way to keep your hands safely on the wheel. I love BTS. In summary, the 2021 Hyundai Elantra offers technology typically seen on much more expensive luxury vehicles. Offering three years of industry-leading Hyundai Blue Link, segment-first Hyundai Digital Key, amazing new widescreens to keep you connected while you drive, enhanced voice recognition, wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. The 2021 Elantra elevates the experience for today's technology-focused buyers. 
We know our customers will love these enhancements. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for joining us here in West Hollywood. I'm Mike Evanoff, Senior Manager of Product Planning, and will be walking you through some additional details of the all-new 2021 Elantra. So let's go ahead and start with chassis and suspension. The all-new 2021 Elantra is based on our new third-generation K3 platform. This new platform allowed designers and engineers to work closely together to maximize both styling and packaging. Now, safety has been enhanced by providing multiple load paths in the event of a collision. Ride and handling has also been enhanced through this new generation platform. And as you'll see in a little bit, the all new Elantra's sporty styling does not compromise interior space. And finally, we've added more seat legroom through the increase in Elantra's wheelbase. The development goal for the all new Elantra was to optimize both dynamic handling and ride comfort. I truly believe you will be able to experience our goals on your evaluation drive today. And as Jerome spoke to the Elantra Hybrid's powertrain, we have also added an updated multi-link independent rear suspension to the hybrid. Now let's talk about exterior and interior dimensions. Longer, lower, and wider. Anytime you go this direction, you make a sedan with more dramatic proportions and overall stance. Elantra's overall length has increased more than two inches and the wheelbase has been increased by almost an inch. In addition, width has increased an inch and the overall height has been reduced an inch. But as you'll see, even with the reduction in height and Elantra's fast raked C-pillar, interior room is not compromised. The increase in Elantra's overall size has allowed for greater rear seat legroom, up over two inches and places it as best in class. And also, while we reduce the overall height, the rear seat headroom is identical to the prior generation Elantra. That is one of the main benefits of this new generation platform. But there's even more good news for Elantra's interior. Passenger volume is 99.4 cubic feet and total interior volume is 113.6 cubic feet, both of which are best in class larger than Civic, Corolla, or Sentra, and we typically don't compare across segments, but given the popularity of CUVs, a launcher even has more passenger volume than many entry CUVs, such as the Toyota RAV4, BMW X2, and Mazda CX-30. So let's now move on to safety and convenience features. Safety is a big story for the all-new Elantra. Hyundai SmartSense is our terminology for our Advanced Driver Assist Systems, or ADAS. And I'm happy to say many are standard. Standard safety items include forward collision avoidance assist, blind spot collision avoidance assist with rear cross traffic collision avoidance assist, and lane following assist. We also have standard driver attention warning and high beam assist. Optional safety features include rear parking collision avoidance assist, and highway driving assist, which is tied to the smart cruise control and navigation. We also have segment first rear occupant alert, which is based on door and key logic to remind the driver of potential rear seat occupants. Also segment first is safe exit warning, which utilizes the blind spot collision avoidance assist sensors to audibly warn passengers of traffic approaching from the rear if they attempt to open the door. Elantra also has available wireless device charging using the Qi format. Now wireless charging isn't all that new to the industry, but our engineers are continually looking to improve features and our wireless charging now has a 30% improvement in charging performance and actually has an integrated cooling function. So when you pick up your phone, it's at ambient temp and not warm due to the conductive nature of wireless charging. Elantra also provides multiple drive modes of normal, smart, and sport. Each one adjusts the steering and throttle torque response for the appropriate mode. It also changes the theme of the 10.25 inch LCD gauge cluster to let the driver know which mode they are in. Furthermore, on navigation equipped vehicles, we have different colors of ambient lighting linked to the drive modes, but also allow the color 
to be customized to any of the 64 available colors. Now I know this is a small detail, but I always like to speak to the thought our engineers put into the ownership experience. The cup holders in Elantra are actually dual stage. There is an insert that can accommodate smaller size cups, but if you pull that insert out and rotate it 180 degrees and reinstall it, it will then accommodate larger size cups. It's just another way to enhance the ownership experience. So finally, we have packaging and pricing. The Elantra SE MSRP is $19,650, and that is with all the standard safety items I spoke to earlier. From there, we move up to the Elantra SEL at $20,900, which adds additional high customer demand features like our proximity key with push button start, automatic temperature control, and our Blue Link connected car services that you heard about from Manish. There are also two option packages available on the SEL, which are the convenience package and the premium package. The highest spec is the Elantra Limited at 25,450. This is the most fully loaded Elantra and only one configuration, so no additional options to increase the price. And we've spoken to the Elantra Hybrid. There are just two configurations to keep the entire Elantra lineup simple. The Elantra SEL Hybrid is 23,550, and this includes the same equipment as the ICE model, but the hybrid powertrain delivers an astounding 54 miles per gallon combined. The Elantra Limited Hybrid comes in at 28,100 and still delivers 50 miles per gallon combined with the additional features and larger 17-inch alloy wheels. All in all, tremendous value throughout the Elantra family. So in summary, the all-new 2021 Elantra delivers striking styling with strong presence and proportions. The advanced technology provides more control and personalization than ever before. The first ever Elantra Hybrid provides a no compromise experience while delivering a standard 54 miles per gallon combined, which beats both the Toyota Corolla Hybrid and the Honda Insight. And finally, the long list of standard SmartSense safety features, which further enhance the ownership experience. And with that, I'd like to thank you very much for your time. Please enjoy your drive in the all new 2021 Elantra and Elantra Hybrid. Thanks again.